Not sure what I expected to find when I opened the door, but it sure as shit wasn't a kid. How did she even find me? I've been off the grid for better than a couple of decades now, and it still took a couple of moves to get clear of the media before I could settle down where I am now. Surely this kid wasn't a fan or something that had lucked up and found me. Then I noticed her shivering and tears in her eyes. Can you help me? Even retired, I wasn't going to ignore a kid in need. Sure, hun, you lost. She gave me the tiniest nod, probably scared to death. A dust-covered van pulled up right then. Didn't think much of it at first, since I tuned out most of what I'd heard a while ago. But the girl flinched when it stopped, and a man got out. Thank God you found her. We've been looking for her everywhere. My house sits maybe half a mile off the driveway which isn't a lot of ground if I need to cover it quickly, but far enough away to let me see people before they get close. Something didn't set right with this guy, so I peeked in the van to find another guy with a pair of young girls sitting in the back. I gave him a brief wave and nod before kneeling down to eye level with the girl. And that's your daddy? She shook her head. Hmm. You know those men? Shook her head again. Not good. They try to hurt or touch you? those other girls. Her eyes fled wide at that, but she dipped her head right after. Not good at all. I lifted her chin. You're safe here, understand me? Once she nodded, I told her, go in the house and lock the door behind you. I stood up. I'm gonna have a word with them. You don't need to see it, okay? One final nod, and I sent her in the house. A red light glinted off my reflection in the window. No, this was not good at all for them.